Oh, Motorola Solutions has internal names for their radios. We had friends. Did we have Wilma? I didn't, we I didn't have Wilma. No, not to my Going from the uh, ST7500 to the corner, there are a lot of other radios. There are radios I've never seen actually, but, but that's <laughs> the P25, P25 for this region also important, Absolutely. is it? Yeah, really important for the Middle East region. Exactly, but there there is one device you want to show me because that, that, that is kind of flagship device and that's a follow-up of many uh, devices used by police forces that 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 started with the tetra systems about 10 years ago yes. i would say yes yes so, so for those for those organizations who started with tetra about 10 years ago eight years ago they're about to renew their radios and you guys have the most broadest portfolio. We do. We've got a really broad portfolio of Tetra devices. We don't even have all of them with us today, but I, I believe I'm right in saying that we've got the broadest portfolio on the market. You've seen the ST7500, which is our new oh, small yeah. oh, radio. Oh, the, the ST7500, uh, uh, you mean this radio over here? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all have right. to do a count at the end <laughs> of the show. Uh, so that's the new one that's aimed at public safety agencies who want a small, easy-to-use device. If they want a fully featured device, with class 3 RF performance, the loudest audio on the market. Um, it's got built-in uh, built Bluetooth, it's got built-in uh, GPS, GLONASS, Beidou. We've got all of the features and functionality in this, which is the 6650 product. So this is really our flagship Tetra product, and we're seeing a lot of interest in this, especially in the European market at the moment, where there's um, quite a lot of interest in uh, Tetra refresh networks, as okay. you say. So Stuart, so for organizations like like in the Netherlands, C2000, Airwave for example, a lot of Airwave users are still using the, the old MT8800 radio. Yes. Well, they started with MT8650. Yes. Fred, Colt. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so is this one got a name as well? Uh, yeah, this is called the Aragon Refresh product. We the went through Aragon of, Refresh. Yeah, one. we went through a bit of a Tolkien phase, <laughs> Motorola Solutions. So that was the internal name. Yeah, for yeah it. Motorola. But, as as you, if you maybe don't know, Motorola Solutions has internal names for their radios. We had Fred. Did we have Wilma? Um, we I didn't not, have Wilma. No, not, <laughs> not to my recollection. <laughs> Big antenna, right? And there's different antenna options, oh, yeah. so there's, there's different options. The, the nice thing about the 6650 is that it's got a standard SMA antenna connector, which is really important to some customers. Um, so it means that there's a wide range of aftermarket antennas available, as well as the ones that you uh, get in the boxes as in-box options from Motorola. When we talk about radios, we talk about accessories too. Mm -hmm. So a large range of accessories available as well. And one of the key accessories that differentiates this from the rest of our portfolio is that it's got a full car kit accessory. So you'll see I've got a little rubber bun on the back here. That's by just this removing, one over here, yeah, yeah. By just moving that flap, you'll see there's an RF connector here. There's car kits available from Motorola Solutions that mean that you can just put this radio up on your dashboard plug it into the car kit and then you can have an external antenna mounted on the roof of your vehicle to improve the reception and improve the radio performance while you're inside your car. That's really important for police officers who um, may not have great RF coverage to allow them to use portable radios inside vehicles but also don't want to invest in having a mobile radio inside their car. Um, the 6650 covers both of those bases. So, Stuart, as said, we have two devices, two devices for public safety use, one very slim, the slimmest device on the market right now, one flagship radio of Motorola Solutions, and all of the other portfolio actually, which is out there. Now, I can imagine, you know, if you look at the size, people like to choose mm -hmm. this one, mm -hmm. especially the police officers just on the street, mm -hmm. just need to talk, nothing else. Mm -hmm. However, the policemen of the future, will be maybe more interested in this one because of all kinds of new tech, uh, new features that is 
added to this radio instead mm -hmm. of this one. Mm -hmm. But when will be there the time that Motorola comes with an integrated radio with LTE? We have the Lex, uh, we're showing both the Lex L10 and yeah, the Lex have, L11. Yeah, on you have the Lex L10 and the Lex L11, yes. but that's not Tetra and LTE, right? No, it's just LTE, and that's what we believe is the right solution for our customers at the moment. And that's a There's, different approach than other companies, It right? is a different approach to, to other companies. I think that um, the market's still evolving for LTE devices, and there's different user expectations around LTE devices as well. Um, the life cycle of LTE devices typically is much shorter than that of two-way radio. We were just talking, and you mentioned that a lot of UK police forces are still using MTH 800s, which um, are seven, eight, nine, ten years old in those I know there's still MTP cases. 700s exactly, <laughs> being exactly. used. I had a question about an MTP 600 the other the other day. That's, so. a, that's a rugged one and that's a heavy <laughs> one. That's a bulky one, I tell you. Yeah, Yeah. so uh, a bulky radio but still ones that are in active use and being used every single day. Well, you can and easily hit a window with that one. <laughs> And that's why people buy two-way radios. They they get the longevity out of them. And um, if you're buying a hybrid device, I'm not sure that that you'll necessarily see that. There's there's pros and cons of each approach, but we're very much pursuing a collaborative vision at the moment. I would say Motorola Solutions is ready for the future, and uh, probably some more devices are coming on Tetra technology. Interesting, actually.